now, data from the Ohio Department of Health shows our state is seeing a drastic rise in flu hospitalizations. Between November 6th and November 12th, 245 Ohioans were hospitalized with the flu. During that same time span last year, the state had only one flu hospitalization. Now, this is prompting some concerns as we're hearing about surging RSV as well as COVID cases. So this morning, we are focusing on our family's health ahead of the holiday. It's important that many of us are wondering, can I safely celebrate Thanksgiving with my loved ones? Mike Holden joins us live in the studio with the preventative measures you need to know before you sit down at the dinner table. Good morning, Mike. Danita, Mike, good morning to you. The answer in short is yes. Yes, you're safe to celebrate the holidays with your loved ones. It is not peak pandemic like we saw back in 2020 with restrictions and those urgent levels of concern. However, experts say you should be extra cautious, especially if you're sick. You know, I plan on being around family and everything, so and I hope everybody can enjoy the holidays. Thanksgiving excitement is already building for lifelong Clevelander David Kaufman, especially after the last couple holidays were scaled back due to pandemic restrictions. This go around, though, he's ready and not messing around when it comes to staying safe. My head goes to people need to get vaccinated, uh, number one. Dr. Donald Dumford, medical director of infection prevention at Cleveland Clinic Akron General, says this year brings a unique trifecta of sorts. Children's hospitals across the country are now seeing an uptick in RSV hospitalizations. Flu cases are beginning to rise in adults, and we are still in the thick of the COVID-19 pandemic. But he says, don't cancel your plans unless... I think it's really if you're sick, uh, you just really have to take yourself out of circulation. Dr. Dumford says it is safe to celebrate Thanksgiving, but if you're showing symptoms, consider putting things on pause. He says those celebrating should be conscientious when it comes to overall hygiene in the kitchen, at the dinner table, and while socializing. And he says it all starts with washing your hands. If you're going to be cooking the food, if you're going to be interacting with everybody, make sure you're keeping your hands clean because that is one of the biggest ways for us to, to transmit infection. And if you or your loved ones are severely immunocompromised or elderly, consider masking up. He says what's complicated about RSV, COVID, and the flu diagnoses are all basically having the same symptoms. RSV in kids is more of a heavy cough in the lower respiratory tract. COVID can start out like a cold with cold symptoms and worsen over time. And the flu can be a combination of everything, plus fever and body aches depending on the variant. The best way is to is to say, hey, I'm sick and get tested to, to figure out which one of those it is. In the meantime, he has this advice to everyone as we prep for what he says could be an early heavy flu season entering the holidays. Get your flu shot. Uh, and I think the other most important thing is that if you are, are sick, don't be one of the walking wounded and, and continue going about your normal life. All right, you heard it right there. You don't got to be the hero in this situation. But bottom line, Dr. Dumford says it is expected to be a heavy early flu season. So get the flu shot, get the COVID booster. It is so important, especially if you're over the age of 65 or immunocompromised. Mike. Yeah, Mike, you had said a lot of these symptoms overlap and kind of blend together. And of course, for parents like me that have little kids, you know, it can be really scary when those breathing and respiratory issues start to surface and that should I take my child in, should I not type, right. you know, moment. And, and that's the thing, too. I mean, you feel this immense pressure, but Dr. Dumford says if you're concerned, the first thing you should do, call the pediatrician. Don't go directly to the ER. But if you start to see the shortness of breath, maybe them acting lethargic or even non-responsive, get them to the ER immediately. You can't risk it in that moment. Hopefully everybody is safe and healthy this holiday season. Mike, thanks so much.